here's a question from a uh, listener. We're going to keep it light to start, and then we'll get something that's a little bit more dynamic. Mm-hmm. First question. Do men truly find value in relationships with women, whether that be a long term committed relationship or marriage? And if so, what is the value that you all find in being in a relationship with a woman? Mm. How do you feel about that question? So I think women bring so much to the table just by being in their feminine and giving men a, a space to open their hearts and mm. take them out of their masculine mm. and make a man feel respected, allowing him to be in the masculine and being the softness. And mm. I've learned this more than ever before in a lesbian relationship, because you have to see those masculine feminine dynamics really play out strategically. Mm. But I'll tell you, I think a man who truly is looking for emotionally spiritually physically connecting with someone long term they'll value what a woman brings to the table and truly fall in love with her just because she brings that feminine energy that softness and that unconditional love Mm. so when you say like that energy what does it actually look like manifested into day-to-day activity with a with a man it's where you can soften Being in your feminine is literally thinking, how can I soften this situation? Mm. Whether it's your man coming home after a hard day's work and you having food and being softness for him with how you make the home smell or how you touch him or how you present food, how you love, that softness is bringing feminine energy to the situation. If he's been through something and he's sharing something that's been hard on his spirit that day, bringing softness, softening your gaze Mm. towards him and towards his world, inviting him to soften his gaze Mm. and have permission to do that and be vulnerable in front of you. That's bringing the feminine energy. Have have men communicated that to you directly or is is this an observation? Uh, well, that's what I feel I provided to my last partner, but it's been an observation and studies that I that I do to work with my clients. So with every client it tends to be a really good solution if you're trying to operate more in your feminine. And it's something that if you research it, mm-hmm. it's so important that you have those dynamics sorted out. Otherwise, there's going to be two people in their masculine not enough softness, two people trying to control or two people trying to be firm, no one being vulnerable. Mm. And that's what makes a relationship so beautiful. It's a dance. It is a tango. And if you can be in your feminine or your man, it allows that dance to be more fluid. And do you feel like there's a large population of women who exhibit this or the opposite? I think we all have it inside and it's hard to remember who we truly are whether you're a man or a woman, um, I think it's easier to exhibit the opposite because sadly in society as women, we're expected to operate in our masculine to be successful, yet Mm. be in our feminine and be sexy and what men desire in the bedroom or in the home. So it's a second shift. And I mean, it's not fair to women Uh, But but I must say that if you can lean into it more, which it is a privilege, honestly, to be able to lean into your lean into your feminine more. Some women don't have that privilege of time to cook for their families. Mm. Uh, Some women don't have that privilege. And that's something that needs to be expressed, like Mm. being able to take time for yourself and self care and feel beautiful and work out and do what's going to make you feel good, to feel confident, to feel sexy. That might be a privilege just for some people. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate that notion. I mean, I think a lot of men do seek that and you know, there comes, it comes in many different levels, right? Like there are women who purely bring that alone, but there's also men who seek other types of like assets from women that might lean on like practical sense. Sometimes a, a, a man is looking for some, one that can be like a true life partner in the things that they pursue in life. Kind of like you said with the guy that you 
also contributed to his business and things like yeah. that, right? I think that is a valuable thing that guys don't, I don't think guys talk enough about that because they might not realize how much of that they can actually get from a woman um, yeah. who's actually like intelligent and capable. Um, I think it's a valuable thing if you're somebody that's pragmatic. But then again, that's might be my acts of service side talking, uh, but right. that's just me. <laughs> And at the end of the day, if it's love, you don't want it to be an exchange. I look back at that and I think, well, now that I'm even more evolved, while it was a real relationship, the next one I don't want based off of an exchange yeah. with an older woman, what I can do for her business. I want it to be for love. And if I want to do those acts of service, I will. All right. She said it, guys. She's going to give me acts of service. <laughs> uh <laughs>